This is a tree oozing fermented sap. It's kind of gross, but it's also kind of amazing. And this is an entire video about it and the insects that visit it. A few weeks ago, I noticed this weird stuff dripping down the side of a tree in my yard. I didn't know what it was at the time, but it turns out it's something called slime flux. And what happened was bacteria got into the tree and started feeding off the sap inside the tree. Gases from sap fermentation build up and eventually bubble out. And the sap mixes with more bacteria and yeast. It creates this smelly gooey stuff called slime flux. A lot of insects really like this slime flux stuff. So to see which one showed up, I set up a time-lapse video system and recorded about 45 hours of footage over six days. So these are the insects that showed up at this bacterial infected and oozing tree. And this is what I'm gonna call my tree ooze bio blitz. The tree ooze was constantly swarmed by flies, lots and lots of flies. The most common and constantly present were these Drosophila species, small fruit flies. These cool looking elastogastrid flies were also always there. They have a distinct striping pattern across their eyes and face and are specialists usually only found on slime fluxes. Underneath the flies, there's a layer of sap beetle larvae clinging to the bark and feeding off the flux. They let the slime flow right over them as they feed. Along with the flies, these beetle larvae are the primary consumers in this ooze-based ecosystem. And where there's an abundance of defenseless consumers, predators are bound to appear. This is a picnic beetle or a beer bug. These would come by and feed on the slime, but then they'd do this. Pick a beetle larva out of the slime and then devour it. They're called picnic beetles because of their attraction to fruits and fermentation products. It's also a type of sap beetle, so it's in the same family of beetles as the larva it's chewing on here. Okay, in this sequence, watch the upper right corner of the frame. The predator swoops in and hangs out just outside the frame and focus of the shot. But it pops in frame for just a second and shows that it's a yellow dung fly and it's eating the Drosophila fruit flies. Males like this are usually found hanging around dung and preying on other insects that visit. But this one came by the tree to nab and snack on some of the smaller flies. The biggest insect to visit the slime flux was this bumble flower beetle. These scarab beetles buzz like bumblebees when they fly. They overwinter as adults and become active early in the spring to feed, mate, and start their life cycle, which is probably why I caught this one feeding at the tree in late April. A few other types of sap beetles made brief appearances in the slime. One on the left is riding the back of a larvae as it plunges into the slime. This one in the middle, a cryptarcha, is a close relative of the picnic beetle, but it just eats slime, not other beetles. On the right, this Amphicrossus species shows up, spins around, and then kind of just runs off. The only other type of beetle to make an appearance was this red and white striped longhorn beetle, Eudersis pinei. It's a wood boring beetle, so it probably just dropped by to check out whether the tree was a suitable host or not. Here's a neat looking fly. That gray and black speckled one in the middle is a Tragonops species. These are specialists on fluxes, and it's common to see a bunch of them feeding like this but my tree only attracted a couple. The last two things I caught were this muscid, a relative of a housefly, and the shiny small frit fly. So that was about 15 different insects that showed up on this tree when I filmed it at the end of April into early May. If I did this later in the summer, I might expect a whole different suite of insects, like even butterfly, wasps, or like big June beetles to show up. So next time you're out in the woods, Keep your eyes open for a bacterial infected oozing tree and then admire the cool insects that you find. Special thanks to Matt Bertone who helped with the insect IDs in this video and took all the still images you saw. You should go check out his Flickr page and all of his insect macro photography. There's a link to it in the video description. Thanks for watching.